Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this week for our Hangout on Air focused on analytics goals and how that can help you work with your uh, AdWords information and data. Um, joining us today are my colleagues Kelly and Gio. Go ahead and say guys. hi, guys. Hi. Hello. All right. Um, if this is your first time ever watching Hang On and Air, there are a few things to know. Um, there is a question and answer feature. So if you're watching from our, our G Plus page, you can post questions there, and we'll get to them at the end. Um, also, if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, you can also post questions in the YouTube comments section, and we'll get to those as well. Um, if you want to find us at G Plus, you can find us at plus.google.com forward slash plus Google Ads. Um, and that's all. That's all the announcements that I have. So let's just get to it. Um, like I said, today's topic is on goals, analytics goals, and importing those into AdWords. So Kelly, why don't you get us started on what goals are, why they're important, and why people should be using them? Yeah, absolutely. So goals are a way to track in Google Analytics valuable actions that people take on your website. It could be a video play, it could be filling out a form, it could be staying on your site for four minutes, it could even be looking at five different pages within your website. So they're really, um, they're really good for you to va measure the value that you're getting from all these visits to your site, um, and they also um, track it for every user. So whereas AdWords conversion tracking will only track AdWords people who take that, that um, action that you're trying to track. Analytics is going to track it for everybody who gets to your site, and then you can start to, to compare which um, sources are driving the best traffic. And then um, in terms of why they're important, um, for every user who tracks these valuable actions or who, who takes these valuable actions, um, you get to compare the, the sources that are driving it. So you can see if it's AdWords, if it's organic traffic, um, you can look at your different marketing channels and email blast as long as you're tracking it you can see it. And then you also can import these goals back into AdWords. Um, so for those AdWords people that take that action, you can see it in your AdWords reports as well. And that's all I have. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. That was that's really helpful. Um, I know I get a lot of questions when I'm answering the phone um, about goals, what they are, and, and all of that. So it's really useful information to know why they're actually really important. So that was a really good description, Kelly. Thank you. Um, so next, Gio, why don't you take us through how you actually set up a goal in your analytics account? Um, and then moving past that, we'll go into how to import that information into AdWords. Sure, Josh. I'd be happy to help with that. Are we going to set this up in your account? Yep, we are. Give me one second. Sure. So like Kelly said, this is pretty powerful stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look in here, and I'm going to help Josh set up probably the most common type of goal, uh, a URL type of goal. So Josh, you're in your account now. You're going to want to go up all the way at the top to where it says admin. Yep, right there. And now all the way on the rightmost column under the view, you're going to see with the little flag icon, the goal section. Yep. So go ahead and open that up. And we're going to do a new goal here. All right. So on here, let's maybe just uh, pick one of the options for a form fill-out. Or whatever you think is best, Josh. Okay. We'll go on to the next step. So this here is really the, uh, the important part. So we want to select the destination type of goal. And this is going to track, without you needing to add any additional code on your website, whatever page you want to track. So for example, let's say Josh is taking someone to his thank you page after they fill out his form. He is going to want to track just the end of that URL, so whatever comes after the .com. So in this case, let's just uh, go ahead and call this goal a form submission. So he's going to uh, title that whatever he wishes, and we're going to go on to the next step here. Perfect. All right, so now this is the part where we want to enter that URL. So in this case, it's probably going to be something like what Josh has entered here. All right. And the one thing that we'll make sure to do is uh, analytics is going to look for just the second part of that, Josh. So uh, just whatever is after the dot .com. Yep. So you can go ahead and actually uh, erase the rest of that there. And that's perfect. Yep. 
All right, so you can set up a value if you want, but for this example, you know, let's say it's not a sale, it's just a contact lead, you're probably not going to have a dollar value for that. Um, you can also set up a funnel if you want, if you know there's a, a very set set of steps that someone will take to get to that final destination page. But for a form submission, usually someone can come from any part of your website, so you probably want to leave those optionals just uh, set off. And we can go ahead and actually just save this goal here. And that should be all set. So this here is now going to start to track. So anytime someone, like Kelly said, from any source on the, on the internet comes in and fills out that form, Josh is going to know about it. Okay, so now the next part is importing this goal into AdWords. So you want to know what keywords, what ads, or even what campaign is bringing you those conversions. So what we want to do is go all the way up to Tools at the top here, mm -hmm. and go to Conversions is the second option. And now, if you've linked your AdWords and Analytics and allowed uh, data sharing from Analytics, you'll be able to click on that section to the right of Plus Conversion where it says Import from Google Analytics. As Josh clicks on there, we'll be able to see uh, the goal. So you'll want to just go ahead and check it off. The one we created might not be in there yet. Uh, it may take a few hours, but we can go ahead and import this one that we had from before. So you're just going to go ahead and check that off and hit import. And the great thing is you only have to do this once. So once you import it, it's just going to start sending the data to AdWords. Um, and now that it's there, you can use it to optimize your account. Awesome. Thank you, guys. That was super helpful. Um, I even messed one of the steps up, so Gio had to correct me. So if, you, if that was new for you, it's still new for me sometimes, too. We're not perfect over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much. It's really, really valuable information. We get, Like I said, we get lots of calls on this, so um, I think this is a really valuable session for everybody. Um, before we close out, I do like to always do Googly Facts. Um, I don't think I mentioned at the beginning of the session that my name is Josh. I do work on our AdWords support team here. They mentioned my name throughout the process, so thank you for <laughs> introducing me, even though I'm the host. Um, but my Googly fact is um, that I was actually a dancer for about 12 years. Um, I did everything from ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, all of it. Um, I've been danced professionally a few times. Um, but now I'm going to pass it over. Kelly, what's your Googly fact? Mine's not nearly as exciting as yours or as talented, but um, I studied Portuguese in college, and I studied abroad in Brazil, so I am avidly rooting for Brazil to win the World Cup. Awesome. And Gio? Awesome fun <laughs> fact. Um, yeah, I mean, my fun fact is that I speak five different languages. Um, yeah, I started very young, and uh, I don't know, hobby of mine. Wait. Our fun facts are about language, yours is about dancing. They're almost <laughs> the same. Yeah, how many languages did you say? I actually didn't even catch that. Uh, so I speak Spanish, English, German, Portuguese, and Italian. Five. Wow. Okay. I didn't even know that. I thought it was just like two of those. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't know you were a dancer, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, let me just double check to see if we have any questions. It looks like we're good. If you did post any questions that we didn't get to, we will put them on our G Plus page, so don't worry about that. Um, thank you once again for tuning in, and join us next week also. We're going to be continuing the analytics sessions, so if you're still interested in this or want to learn more, please join us next week at the same time. Um, but other than that, uh, have a good rest of your day, and thanks for tuning in, and also thanks to our presenters. Thanks, guys. Bye.